Oh, hi. It's Jared Tyler McBride. Welcome to Ninja F Revolution. Jared Tyler McBride. Uh, welcome to Ninja Ass Revolution. This is Ninja Ass Revolution. Welcome to Ninja Ass Revolution. Ninja Ass Revolution. This is Jared Tyler McBride. Uh, I'm making a new YouTube account. Uh, I've actually been a YouTube member uh, since 2007. Um, just making a new channel uh, called Ninja Ass Revolution. My old channel is called Ninja Ass Blackie Chan. And uh, I just decided to make a new channel because uh, the old one it, uh, has roughly 80 videos and I kind of want to make something new, so this is it. The videos were badly edited and badly received, so I thought maybe for the new year I'd have a fresh start. I want to have HD videos, I'm um, getting a new camera, and I will be uploading new videos uh, onto this channel. And uh, I might make references to my old channel for you to watch certain videos and put the links at the bottom in the description. But uh, this uh, have more, mostly new videos. Um, starting in a couple few months, uh, I will be posting old videos from 2007 till now that I haven't posted on other channels because I didn't have a proper camera. My camera I'm using right now is actually my old one. I didn't have an adapter. So yeah, this is my new channel. Um, I'm currently at work, that's the security. Uh, I work at a hotel and uh, I'm also a, a Muay Thai slash Taekwondo instructor um, and that kind of leads into what I'm going to talk about next. Uh, like I said, this channel is for martial arts. Um, I'm an amateur Muay Thai slash MMA fighter. Um, if you look at my old channel, it has three of my um, amateur MMA fights and my amateur Muay Thai fights, including my debuts for both. Um, that's on my other channel, and this channel is to kind of demonstrate an improvement on my skills and stuff like that. Um, education wise, I have a uh, BA in philosophy, and I'm working on my BA in psychology right now. I only have one more course I'm taking in this semester, and I'm taking acting for fun. So after I get done with the semester, I'll, I'll be finished my double major and hopefully going to uh, either get my master's or go to graduate school. Um, I'm as a disclaimer, uh, please, I mean, you can, I, I appreciate constructive criticism. Uh, if you want to post on my, in the comments, uh, stupid nigger, uh, you can't fight nigger, nigger, stuff like that. Um, it, while it is funny, uh, it's not very constructive and uh, I can't really gain anything from that. So uh, if you can, try to leave those comments out and probably just, uh, because I said that, you probably will post those comments more often. So. Um, anyway, but uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, like I said, uh, Born in July 27th, 1988. I was born too much premature. Uh, I had asthma growing up, and I have emphysema, uh, very like dry and cracky skin, you know, growing up. But now I'm over that, and I got over my asthma by actually running. And uh, I did track in high school and stuff like that. But um, martial arts was something I always liked. I always liked fighting, and uh, that's kind of been, you know, my calling. That's that's something I always like. You know, something that I really 
if I if I don't do it for a week, I, I get really depressed. So martial arts is something big for me. Uh, some more quick facts about me. I um, I've actually competed just about everything. I've competed in MMI, M <laughs> MMI, MMA, Muay Thai, Karate, Taekwondo, um, Sand Show. Uh, jiu jitsu, you know, grappling tournaments. I've competed in just about everything just to get a little touch of everything. Uh, my grappling skills suck pretty much. Uh, I've been trying to get better. Uh, I currently do jiu jitsu here and there. I, I mainly focus on stand up. But uh, when I, I plan on having an MMA match in March, so I have to work my grappling a little bit more. So uh, hopefully my grappling will improve. But if you watch my older videos from my older channel, you'll see that my grappling is so so. The gloves I'm wearing right here, um, I actually got in 2007, uh, before my first MMA fight. These are MMA gloves. I actually used these before I fought in any tournament. Um, I used these uh, from the first tournament I did uh, in karate all the way until now. I still use these, and these are my favorite. These are my favorite gloves because they, you know, they mean a lot to me, and I wear these gloves uh, just about to every match. Except for Muay Thai, which usually use boxing gloves, but every every MMA fight I've had and karate, I wear these gloves. In New York State, MMA is legal, so let me throw that out there. It's illegal. Um, I actually I mentioned in a book, this book right here, Raw Combat. Uh, where is his name? Uh, by Jim Genia. Check it out. Uh, it basically covers the whole story about the underground world of MMA. Uh, focusing mainly on New York State. Uh, my three MMA matches that I competed in were all illegal, so I'm kind of a, uh, I'm not a bad guy, but that's the only illegal thing I would do uh, was MMA. Um, both, uh, I competed in Brooklyn, Queens, and then in the Bronx. And the Bronx was the most horrible thing I ever did. I got destroyed, I got elbowed in the face. I actually got a hole in my ear because of that. It was fun. Uh, it, they asked me before I started that I want to do Valley Tudo rules, and if you're aware of that, it's uh, Brazilian for basically any anything goes, and including uh, elbowing in the back of the head and stuff like that. But I end up deciding on UFC rules, and I never got elbowed to the face before, and it was just a bad idea. And I actually fought two days before in a title match for Muay Thai, which I also lost. So um, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. My last uh, my last five fights have been all lost by decision. Um, I actually fought a professional fighter, which you know turned out that he was professional. It was supposed to be an amateur bout, but he's professional. And I actually the the referee stopped third round. So my you know my latest fights have not been the best. That's why I'm making this YouTube channel to show my improvement from those fights. Uh, what else can I say? Well I have real martial arts uh, videos of me competing but also choreographed fight scenes and projects that I've been working on. One of them uh, would be uh, Sifu Gogo. -Go. If you looked at my prior videos on this channel, you'd see Sifu Gogo, -Go, uh, which is from 2008, which was a, a short choreographed film that I did in literally two hours with my friend. Uh, but on an offshoot of that, the project I've been working on, I actually drew pictures and uh, characters for and, and been working on the script will be up uh, the first episode is going to be a series. The first episode will be up sometime uh, in the next couple of months. Uh, I just have to get the uh, two actors that, that I, I need for the uh, first part. Um, I never smoke or drink anything in my, well, I, you know, I drink water, but I, don't, I never drink alcohol or done drugs in my whole entire life. My mom, is strong. she's the reason why I, I do martial arts and why I stayed in school and continued school. She's very strong. and. Uh, you know, I take a lot out to my mom, and I'm a mom boy. I was raised by my mother. Uh, my father's an asshole. Uh, I try to be, you know, he left me my mom when I was age two. Um, I try to, you know, make an olive branch with him. But the uh, last words we shared with each other is that we're going to be each other's asses, so we don't talk anymore. And that was actually uh, the past year, 2011. So we don't talk. And he was an asshole anyway. You know, I didn't really, I, I seen him all, my whole entire life. I seen my father at least 12 times, but uh, that's another story. Uh, what else about me? I'm a vegetarian. I've been a vegetarian for five years. Um, I have a cat. He's sleeping. <laughs> he said, leave me alone. Uh, I have a turtle. I have since I was six years old. 
Um, like, oh, I don't know if I mentioned I'm 23 years old. Uh, what else? I wrote some stuff down. Um, what else? What else? Oh, I'm currently single. Uh, I like all types of girls. Uh, I kind of got a sweet spot for Asian uh, women. I don't know, there's something about them. I get, I don't know. It's, I don't know. I guess you can call it a fetish, but I really like Asian girls. Uh, I was, I was engaged. I had a fiance, ex-fiance. Now, it was my high school sweetheart. We were dating from age 15 until 20, so a five-year relationship. It got kind of rocky at the end, and she ended up cheating on me. So yeah, that kind of sucked. So I've been kind of single for two years, but uh, like I said, I'm, I'm single. I prefer if you subscribe then add me as a friend. If you want to add me as a friend, add me up on Facebook. I'll definitely answer you. Uh, I don't have that many friends. So uh, if, you, if you want to talk, ask me a question, feel free to do it here or uh, add me on Facebook. Uh, I'll get back to you. Uh, this is Jared Tyler McBride and this is Ninja Ass Revolution. May God bless your way and uh, check out my videos. I'll be posting hopefully videos every day, every day for the next two months because I have so much old footage that I have to put up and that I promised people I would put up. Stuff like that. Hey, my cat is getting in here. He's stepping on me. Say hi. Say hi, baby. It's my cat named Jennifer. It's a boy cat, he's gay. All right, go ahead. You gonna sit here? All right, he's gonna sit back up. All right, so. Let's knock at the door. I kinda put. Yes, I'm a martial artist.